Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I'm out of breath because I'm doing lots around here. And you may find in the next coming little while, my videos are gonna be shorter. Normally I do like two to three pieces each video because I do one that inspires a new idea, so forth. However, you may not know this, in one corner of my studio, there's actually workout equipment. I have a full NordaTrack treadmill and a full Pilates reformer that have been collecting literally piggy dust and paint. However, I'm gonna start using them for their intended purpose again. And I have so many painting ideas, especially now that I do duchies. I can't fit in the duchies, the bloomies, the workies. So um, the next little while, and it's gonna be very annoying for me because I'm gonna to want to paint more of what I'm doing. But just bear with me, I hope you guys don't mind. We're gonna do something fun today. Many videos ago, when I was like mixing up tri-art fluids, I came up with a really fun color combo that I wanted to try. Um, so let's talk about it. Oh, actually, I have the dry thing here. Hold on, mixing of tri-arts. Of course, oh, okay, so what we have, I wish, I'm sorry about these lights as usual. Oh, wait. There's a good angle, kind of. So this is my favorite rose gold. And I love these tri-art fluids. You can get them at Fluid Art Company. <laughs> okay, my other favorite is graphite gray, which is this one, okay? Now, what I showed was, this, was, this is an iridescent pearl, okay? And what you do, you could do with it, this is it on its own, which is really pretty, but I added it, I added it to colors. I added it to this violet here, which I don't have, but it was a triart violet of some sort, and it becomes metallic, okay? And this is their liquid mirror, which is very expensive, but really cool, okay? So I was like, this is a cool color combo. Let's do something fun with it. Also, I have bought a lot of new Sherwin-Williams pillow paints that I have not had a chance to try. This <clears throat> is called Debonair, color to go. It's kind of like a gray. So why don't we go super, and it's gonna be challenging for me, super muted, super simple. Now what I've done, um, if you want, sorry, I'm like rushing, I should not do that. Mo would get very mad at me. He says I talk too fast anyways. What I've been doing lately with my Sherwin-Williams paints is adding some water to them to thin instead of Floetrol, and I've been liking that vibe more. So I've thinned it with water, especially these green labels are thicker than the Ultra Deep Bases. So I think this could be a fun color combo. I want it really simple, like I'm talking like two leaves and a lot of negative space. I have a 14 incher here. Now also, for some reason, I've been dreaming of TLP Ballet Slipper, which is a really warm pink. You know what, these lights are so, like they're so good, but so bad. Okay, now the problem is, Ballet Slipper and Rose Gold are very similar, except the Triart Rose Gold is actually silver, okay? So it's a cool pink, whereas Ballet Slipper has a red warm tone to it. So, it's gonna show up differently. And I think I'm gonna somehow incorporate the ballet slipper in the background of the bloom. I wonder if I want a pretty outline of it, um, or if I want to make like a faux pillow with it, then you won't really see the gray, but yeah. I was just about to say we can do both, but we can't because we're only doing one today, Lisa. All right, whatever. Let's just do it. There's no stress about it. Be right back. Okay, so let's get this pillow. It's still a little thick, actually, but whatever. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to have to spin her too much, okay? It is quite thick. So I am going to spread her about and there's so many yuckies in here all right let me just spread it about and then i'll put some more in the middle where i'm gonna blow it okay a good dollop now you never want more than 10 percent water in your paints 
because that's when they start to break down, apparently. All right, so I added a good loop of water. And one thing, you know, it's, it's easy to look at the trace of your pouring medium with a drip test, but this is better. But it's harder with pillow paint, actually. Let me just get new glovies so I don't drip everywhere. Because there's so many other things in the house paint uh, that can be very deceiving. So, FYI. All right, I'm putting on new gloves so we don't drip everywhere. Then we're gonna get to work. I hope it's not too gray. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. I'm gonna do one more little mixy here. Okay, pour her out. Yeah, that's nicer, see? I am gonna just go like this so she spins nice. Okay, now, my idea, yeah, that's spinning much nicer, isn't it? We don't want her to like fight for her life. Okay, so my idea originally was to have all the full background, but that's not gonna happen now with ballet slipper. So, um, I'm gonna do a big dollop of ballet slipper first, okay? And then I'm um, not gonna blow over it, so I'm gonna have it as the actual outline of the blue. All right. Maybe, that's like my plan, but you know. So, here she is first. Hmm. Or I can do like shapes, why don't I do shapes with her? I'm just gonna take this, all right? And I'm gonna do like, oh, you know what I used to do? I used to like, but well that's full coverage. I used to like put a big dollop and then kind of do a spin swipe and have it as the background. No, nope. Jesus Christ, sorry, <laughs> hold on. Oh, hello, don't, please don't, you know what I mean? Okay, it's very precarious right now, hold on. You guys, I know you love when I do this thing, I just, Okay. Hold. That was so close. This is a really good video so far. If you weren't sure, I'm telling you. Okay. Hello. Here we are. <laughs> okay. Jeez Louise, you guys. Okay. As I was saying, I'm going to do different shapes in the background. Okay. For goodness sakes. And I'm going to, yeah. We're just doing shapes, okay? Shapes. So we're going like, that's fine because I just want like shapes. And as they sink and grow, uh, they're going to look different and stretch out and that's okay. I just want like cool shapey wavies, okay? I don't know. Okay. Uh, why not, right? Shapes. Okay. You guys, my phone storage was full. So it just shut down at a certain point. I don't know what you saw, but I just did that. Now. Let's start our bloom for goodness sakes. It's been 10 minutes. How am I supposed to say I'm doing faster videos? Okay, I'm gonna start with my mix of the iridescent and the violet. Um, now, I don't want like so much because the whole point is to be minimalistic, although I'm not having like a good feeling about the painting today. <laughs> All right, now we're doing graphite gray. We're supposed to be super like chic and minimalistic. All right, now we're gonna have the rose gold. I'm actually gonna use my hair dryer too. 
And oh, I don't know if I told you this color, the warm white. This is Tri Art Warm White. Um, I guess I should use, I have my white saw activator here, but I, I'm wondering if I should use Payne's Gray saw activator since we've topped it with the warm white already, unless I put a different color down. But I don't know if I want the color, actually. We're just gonna go Payne's Gray cell activator, which I have right here. Okay, mix it up for a second. And just a little bit, I know it is, I will admit, looking like a hot mess right now, but whatever. And I'm gonna blow dry it because I want like kind of a different shape. Although, oh, whatever, let's just do it at this point. This is like a hot mess express. Okay, ready? Okay, definitely not as minimalistic. You could see why the pillow comes up when you blow too hard or stay too much in one spot, but that's just what you get with a blow dryer. Not really, but I'm gonna leave it for now. I wanted to get that a little bit. Okay, weird shape. Yes, I'm gonna blow it here. Okay. Now, it's cute. I don't see much of the um, rose gold. I do see this, so it is a, out loud that I'm looking for. Now you're saying to yourself, this looks strange, what's going on? I don't know what's going on yet until we spin it out. Is it minimalistic like I wanted? No, but we know that's normal for me. Um, is it strange? Could be, but let's spin it. Why are we judging? And honestly, if I wanna do another one, I'm gonna do another one, okay? <laughs> the Dutchies will just have to wait for tomorrow. Okay. I know you're gonna say this is weird, but just, just trust me for now, okay? Trust the process. There is a little too much gray for my liking. Okay, that's true. Although this part here is cool. I just don't like, oh, wait, there's a little. So, sorry. <laughs> I don't mind what's happening. I do mind. Well, maybe, no, I don't know if I mind it. It's just, well, you know how I hate when the pillow comes up. <laughs> but it's like pretty and people really like it. It's just my mental problem, you know what I mean? Okay, this shape is, well, okay, I'm gonna still spin. And then I am gonna skewer a little bit. Um, hold on, there's like something here. Okay. Um, ooh, you know what would be really cool? <coughs> if I do painted skewer with the violet and really paint on some petals after. You know what I mean? Why does she want to move such a weird way? You know what I mean? Okay. It's like a cool shape, okay? It's definitely like a natural flower. Let's maybe paint her as a flower. Let's spin it one more time. You know, like if I actually get some violet, okay, and outline her leaves, maybe do a little some. Now the only part, the only thing is when you paint, do this, the paint will expand. So it doesn't 
stay thin when you do your line. So it expands a little bit. So just be careful of that. Okay. <clears throat> now we have, look, this is what I'm looking at. This is a weird shape, but look at the color though. Okay. So I look at the weird shape. Okay. And I say, I want to fix this weird shape. Okay. So what are we going to do? We are going to do some things to it. All right. I'm going to find some, well, I guess I can, no, I want a darker purple. I'm going to see if I have like just a plain deep purple, which I'm sure I do. Or I was going to say Australian red violet, but that's might be too intense for us. But this is some sort of purple. I don't know what it is. I just found, I just have probably my smoky perps that I made. Okay. We're going to open her up. And we're going to play. I'm going to take my glove off so I don't drip. Okay. And I just dipped my tip. Okay. And now we are going to do something. Okay. So for instance, I'm going to like really. Okay. Number one. I'll just thin this out here like that. All right. I'll do something in the middle, but I like what's happening. I'm going to do it again. Okay. And we're going to make a little petal here. Dip that tip. Oops. Okay. Right. Try not to do what I just did, which is go down to the actual wood. We'll fix that in a minute, but this, I don't want it. I'm going to like incorporate it. Okay. Next. We'll do it here. Okay. I want to kind of make it look natural-ish. Do you see what I mean? Okay. This is a weird shape that I don't like. So I'm going to maybe make a fake petal at this point, right? I can do what I want. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to outline my fake petal and I'm going to refill it with paint, but let's see. Do I like that? Sure. Maybe I want to make the petal bigger from here. Okay. Mm, I'll go back to this one. I'm not sure what I, if I like the first one I did. I do like the second one. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to cover up somehow the first one that I did. Maybe I can even take a little, you can take a little palette knife if you want, but at least first I'll go like this and I can push her over. This is a lot of fiddling, but again, it's really fun to play with if there's not much more you can do. Now you can definitely try to fix it when it's dry. I have a pile of ones that I said I was gonna fix when I dry and I just don't, you know what I mean? So let's fix here. Okay, getting somewhere, right? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. Take my stick, oops, dip it, and we're gonna go really here um, because this is the weirdest shape, right? It didn't go to the edge. So I'm gonna make a natural one right here. All right, see what I mean? I've kind of made it where the shape is now equal. Now I should do something down here. Like this. Okay. So now 
what you're looking for in composition is always where your eye goes first. So sometimes that's good. Where your eye goes first is what you want people to see. But sometimes there's like an eyesore that is not what you want people to see. So I am looking at it this way, okay? And I want people to know that I want them to look at it this way. Therefore, I have to ground the bottom to take their eye down here so they know which way to look. So I'm gonna make a little pet stem or something just to bring it down right here to ground it, okay? So, I love her. I did not love her at first, right? But when you start kind of playing around with it, you can really start to adjust and do a wet um what are they called modifications okay so there i think i'm like happy with her actually the way she is okay i really want to do more but i'm not going to so i hope you guys enjoyed this um little it was certainly a journey Gonna fix a little blue piece here and there. Um, I know it's short. I would definitely do another one. Do you think I should continue these wet alterations? I'm gonna do a close up. Oh god, so stressful this one. Okay, you guys, I love you. I'm just gonna fix this down. I love you. Are you gonna try these wet alterations? Um, you're the best. Here's a close up. And stay tuned for more Dutchies. And maybe I'll do a workout video. Just kidding. Okay. Love you.